aperture. You have all these dreams in life, and, I, and this one is a way of summing my whole life up. And I worked myself nearly to death, and then I never took a breath. And so when I did take a breath, I started talking to Melissa. I went and I joined these guys in the Serengeti. We'd go out early in the morning and then come back around the time the lions would sleep. And sometime between lunch and showering and the heat of the day, we would sit down for an hour and talk. And it just became so clear that he had this extraordinary story. Here was somebody who was this photojournalist in the wild, being an incredible storyteller because he stayed so long and he embedded and he just learned their movements and just meet these subjects on their terms and let them be who they are and do what they do and yet get at some level of storytelling that I'd never seen before. It was just remarkable to me. And when I saw what she'd written, I was like, holy shit, she's a really good writer. She's not just an editor. So I, I saw an opportunity and I knew that she loved me so I started pushing for a biography. I meant, and I you're had being very kind. I had a title, <laughs> I had this title since I was 30 years old because that's what I believe in, a wildlife. So Melissa took the bait and dove into my life <laughs> in a matter that became maybe way more than I bargained for. <laughs> the for structure it. of the book is, is like a rock song, really. It, it, it starts with my life and beginning. You got to see this, this dream starting to happen, and you see Magnum come into my life, and you, you see the, my family come into my life, but then you start to see the taking shape of a message. One message, it's wild. What, what, what does wild mean? You know, it, we, none of us understand it. I don't understand it, I just know when I'm in it. There's something primal that we humans can't really get because we are constantly trying to change it. We want it to be manageable, we want it to be safe. We want a lion to be safe. We want a lion to be cuddly. And all that nature needs is land. That's all it needs. What we need to do is set aside land and get away. This book ends on a really simple note, which is that wild matters.